Okay, guys, so I chopped up the pieces of that rib, so I'm going to give you a good look at what it looks like. Um, they should be little pieces like this. You want to go in between the bone. So if you see the bone, that's what I do. I go in between them, and they're just pieces like this, really pretty. So I have two bowls here, as you see. Hopefully you're getting a good picture of that. And here is the rest of that bone ham that I have left, okay? So this is what's going to be doing all the work inside that beautiful deliciousness into this rice. Okay, so I have a one-fourth here of that wine, that Goya dry white wine. I have a one-third of that Quino Organics Goya. I have my dark kidney beans and my Goya packets of my such song. And like I said, I'm only gonna do very little uh, spoons of the all-purpose all adobo as well. I'm doing a very little piece of that hot pickled pepper. And um, as I said earlier, guys, these are the ingredients that I'm working with, okay? But look how pretty, check that out, so pretty. And if you go back in my videos, you will see that I've cooked this before for breakfast, just like if it was bacon with some dippy eggs and some toast, super delicious. So yeah, definitely go back in my videos and check it out. I've cooked breakfast with these, this very, very yummy, and actually frying it is really good too as well. But we're doing all the rice, the cooking, the simmer today with the rice. All right, so I'm just going to put you here so you can see as I work, all right? And I'm going to pull my pot right here in front of you so you can see how I put everything in uh, ingredient by ingredient, okay? So, of course, we're going to get this pot nice and heavy and hot. All right, turn it down to a medium low. So the first thing you're going to do, y'all, you're going to add in the granola oil, okay? So you're going to do like a one-third of this of the granola oil, all right? So let's get this bad boy in there. All right, so I do this by eye, y'all, so just so you know, as you know. All right, so you're going to do a one-third of that, and then you're going to go ahead right away, and you're going to throw in that dry white Goya wine, that one-fourth. Okay, you're going to go ahead and add in that tomate de salsa, which is the Goya, same thing, tomato sauce. You're going to do a whole eight ounce of that can, all right? And then you're going to go ahead and add your Goya beans next. Make sure you get all that in there. And then you're going to do your two packets of salsong. And like I said, these ribs are already seasoned, very pretty. But I do add a little bit more to the spunk because depending on how much rice I'm doing. And I do plan on filling this pot up. So I want to make sure everything has all the flavor it needs. All right, so that one packet of the powdered chicken. All right. And I'm just doing one tablespoon of that all-purpose adobo, not much. Also, the oregano leaves. Just a little sprinkle of that oregano leaves. That's all you need. A half a tablespoon, I would say. All right, and that A1 sauce, you want to do a tablespoon of that A1 sauce. All right. So we're going to add that in. Beautiful. All right, so after we're done adding all that in, we're going to take um, a 16 ounce of spring water, and we're going to throw that in as well. Okay? So you want to make sure you have all those ingredients in first before you go ahead and add the little pieces of that beautiful red bone. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is add in that one-third quino grains, okay? Try to stick with the organic one. It's it's much better, and it does make a difference. All right? So, and then you're going to go ahead and start adding those beautiful pieces. And let them run in there and start swimming and loving each other. All right? And you're going to do at least two pounds for this pot, okay? So, last but least, the most beautiful, delicious part we're going to go ahead and add in that beautiful ham bone. Okay, that ham bone, y'all, you're going to just stick it right in the middle and lay it beautifully. And I'm going to give you an up close to this before I top it with aluminum foil. And it's going to sit and simmer for about a half hour to 25 minutes. And then we're going to go ahead and add in our rice and all that good stuff. Okay, so let me get you for one second. Wash my hands. 
All right, so I'm going to give you an up close so you can take a look. So that's what it should look like, okay? And as you see, I have it on a medium-low heat, okay? So all these ingredients are in here, as I said earlier. So do you see how lovely that bone is sitting in the middle? That's where you want to keep it. You're going to put aluminum foil on top. Very pretty. Keep it covered for about 25 to a half hour tops. Um, and that's pretty much it. Then after that, you're going to add in the rice, and that's when all the magic happens. <laughs> all right, guys, so stay tuned for the next video. Once this 45 min minutes is up, we're going to add in that rice. So please stay tuned.